And so this morning, I think I did pretty well. Um, I, I, I got to the second highest level, I'm pretty sure. But it's taking a while to load up. So I did find 28 words for December the 11th. And yep, second highest level. And at this point, uh, I, I look up the uh, clues. So the last few words I found were unduly, unruly. Um, those are kind of tough in the sense that I didn't think of it right away. Annular. Um, yuan, yuan, um, yarn, ulnar, and ulna. And I did find the pangram. Pangram was the first one I found. It was laundry. Um, right away when I looked at it, I saw laundry and, um, I guess I hope that doesn't say anything about me but yes I do have some laundry I need to take care of um, so let's take a look at the clues and that's a uh, that's uh, that isn't as colorful as it usually is but it's still not a bad picture there and Here we go. Spongy buddy. And I only have four more words to go to get to the queen bee. And let's take a look at the stats. All yellows, except for those grays towards the bottom. And we've got all the A's. Well, I wonder if that A and an A L is the same as the mini clue. Ring shaped manner. the landlady okay and then piece of rope used for tying things on a ship or a plastic covered string to make a key or ID holder oh this is a lanyard l-a-n-y-a-r-d base of a fingernail but that is l-u-n-u-l-a I think uh, spelling it's tough but I know that Get those land lady. Um, the land and yard, L A N Y K R D at that. And finally for that base of the fingernail. Yeah, that's this is like a trivia thing um, like when I was a kid I used to read these uh, visual dictionaries and uh, so one of those pages had all the parts of the body and the fingers and the fingernails and then right there the crest, crescent shape a base and uh, you know there was an arrow that said L-U-N-U-L-A I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, these are the ends. Got all the ends. Got all the R's. Got all the U's. Got all the Y's. Now here's the thing. Um, this has the B has a lot of these currencies, but I have yet to see rupee, or for that matter. Um, um, the other one, uh, 
and some of the African currencies. So it doesn't include all the currencies, it just includes uh, a few here and there. And so I'm finally left with this ward ring shaped manor. And it's the second hardest one. Oh, it's angular, right? No, is it a G? It has to be something Euler. I'm going to guess A N D U L A R. Um, let's see how many letters there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And um, four of those will be U L A R. And the first two. So that's six. I need to figure out. Three more words. They are just three right here. After the A N A N. Three words, ring shaped. A N. Sorry guys, I think I'm going to be stuck with this one here. Pause it here and um, looks like I, I'm going to be uh, have to be happy with the 3 out of 5. Uh, not the mini and not the B either. So 3 out of 5, hey that's not bad for a Monday. So that's all for what's possible today. Good luck with all your plays, have a great week.